Economists fear novel coronavirus might lead to a new Great Depression. Sixteen and a half million shares of stock sold in a single day. Sold hopelessly, desperately, at any price. U.S. stocks have taken a hit from the novel coronavirus as investors believe it may lead to a depression. Economists say that the financial fallout from the worsening pandemic might not result in a recession but a depression or a long period of declining economic activity. Manulife Investment Management Global Chief Economist Frances Donald thinks it may even become a credit crisis. Bank forecasters project that the world will experience a steep economic contraction as governments around the world close schools, restaurants, and shops. Civilians have also been told to stay home during community quarantine periods. Despite all that is happening due to efforts to contain COVID-19, some economists are holding on to hope that the economy might expand again in late 2020. The S&P 500, a stock market index measuring the stock performance of 500 large U.S. companies on the stock exchange, has fallen 23% during recessions over the past 70 years. On March 16, its benchmark index decline of 29.5% from February 19 was still better than the decline of 50% during the 2008 financial crisis. Reassurance that the market will not experience a decline of that magnitude will come when the rise of new COVID-19 cases declines. The U.S. Federal Reserve's actions to cushion the economy have raised questions about the magnitude of the coming recession. On March 15, the Federal Reserve slashed its benchmark interest rate to near zero and promised to increase its bond holdings to at least $700 billion. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said that they predict second quarter growth will be weak because of the virus's impact on businesses. Their emergency action reportedly mimics that taken by the central bank during the 2008 financial crisis. Now, many economists understand that a recession is inevitable, but governments must still do what they can to keep it short and contain it so that it doesn't turn into a depression. The novel coronavirus has already deeply impacted China, with their industrial output recording a decline of 13.5% and their retail sales plunging 20.5%. Deutsche Bank strategists have said that recent market patterns are similar to those during the Great Financial Crisis and the Great Depression. The Great Depression, described as the world's worst economic downturn, lasted from 1929 to 1939. During the U.S.'s Roaring Twenties, the country's wealth more than doubled and Americans were introduced to a life of mass consumerism. With the nation's economy rapidly expanding, the stock market expanded as well with both the rich and poor investing in stocks. A number of factors including rising unemployment and declining production led to a mild recession in 1929. October 24, 1929, known as Black Thursday, saw the stock market crash as investors traded a record 12.9 million shares. October 29, 1929, known as Black Tuesday, then saw 16 million shares traded, leaving millions of shares worthless. The decline in spending and investment resulted in businesses laying off employees and slowing down their production. Buying power decreased, employees received lower wages, and many Americans fell into debt. It wasn't long until the Great Depression spread to the rest of the world.